so excuse the background. I do have my kids and they are very loud right now. It is Saturday and they are here at home playing. But I'm going to share a very easy, super easy um, green salsa recipe. This is not one of my, like, I have another one. I'll think about sharing it with y'all. It depends on what my husband says because it's actually his recipe. But this one is just a simple green recipe for a spicy green salsa. So you just need tomatillos, serrano or jalapeno, whichever one you want, depending on how spicy you want it. Garlic, salt, and that's it. So let's get started. But first, you want to go ahead and get water boiling. And I have my... So I already got my tomatillos here. I already washed them and I got two jalapenos, two serranos because my husband loves it very spicy. So I would like to use all these tomatillos but I'm just gonna see what fits in my pot. Cause my pot. We're just gonna let that boil and once it's boiled and very soft you know we're gonna put it in the blender if it's cooking like this and it starts to boil you would like to later on turn them so that they can boil and get soft on both sides okay guys I have my extractor on so it is loud this is what I was talking about you want to turn them you see how it's like cooking you want to you want to turn it one second and cook both sides. Bella's helping us. So we'll leave it like that. Okay guys, now that they're more tender, I'm going to go ahead and insert them into the blender. And I do not have any garlic, so I'm going to use garlic powder and salt. So let's go ahead and do Okay guys, as y'all saw, I already put everything in there and I did put some of the water from the salsa in here. Again, I do not have garlic, so I'm gonna use the garlic powder and salt, but it's better if you add garlic and you actually boil it in the water with the tomatillos and jalapeno. So I'm just gonna put some in here and then once I blend it, I will taste it and see if I need more or less, more, uh, of course not less, more of salt and garlic. I just don't want to put too much, so that's all I'm going to put. So I am currently using my Ninja blender, but you can use any blender you want. They all work perfect, so I'm going to hit the power, and I'm just going to hit blend. So now I'm going to taste it and see if I need more salt or garlic. So let's check it out. Okay guys, I already tasted it. It's very good. I'm not going to lie. It's very spicy. Very, very spicy. So what I'm going to do, um, since I already tasted it and my husband already tasted it, I'm going to put the top back on this. And I have this empty jar. I'm just going to pour it in there. Let it cool down and I'm going to get another jar and pour the rest in there. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you try it out, 
try it with less jalapeno and serrano if you like it less spicy if you like this video and it was helpful give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button down below we'll see y'all next time bye